Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 442 and 443. Uh, we are on the go. We are heading down to level 6. But the problem we have is that Magellan is there and they are there to escort Ace. You know, up to the, the Vice Admirals who have came to get him to be taken away uh, for execution, right? So we have Luffy... Ivankov and oh god, I forgot the other the other guy woman. I don't know what like I don't know actually know if they are a guy or a woman because they keep changing uh, gender every episode. I'm guessing with Ivankov's help. Um, the other revolutionary I can't remember their name. The one drinking the wine. I can't. I'll need I'll need to check that because I can't remember. Well, I know their name was mentioned in the last episode, but I cannot remember it. Right, but those three are heading down to get Ace, right? We have the rest of the kind of like new camera, like with Bon Clay, they are still recovering. They are getting getting ready to make this escape, right? So that's where the episode left off, right? We're heading there. Are we going to get this confrontation? Are we going to have to go up against Magellan again? It looks like it, right? I, I was hoping maybe we would get there first and we'd be able to free... Um, Ace and Jimby and they could help us in the fight against Magellan but that's not looking like it's going to happen looks like we have to get through Magellan to get to Ace right so hopefully Luffy has learned his lessons from the last fight and you know it cost him 10 years of his life so I, I pray to God that he has uh, but yeah that's it guys let's just get into these episodes see how it's going to go I'm 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 excited to see what's going to happen and also nervous as heck to see how this is going to play out here. It's it's um well what what's the I was also thinking about the the guy um we could maybe use him to our advantage uh Shiryu Shiryu of the Rain I believe is what he's called uh you know obviously he used to be part of the prison they said he was on like the same level as Magellan but went a bit crazy and got put in one of the cells maybe maybe that maybe that could come in uh, if he's in level 6 as well if we get to him and free him maybe he could uh, distract Magellan for us to get Ace out of there so let's see how it's going to go guys um, if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing Everyone that has and comes back and watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 442. Let's go. Alright. The quitter, right? I know that we're heading... We're, we're on level 5.5. Oh, that's cool. We're heading down to 6. But how, how much of a journey is it? You know? How big are these stairs? Oh, okay, okay, we're here. Oh, God. Oh, they're not already away, are they? I don't... Right. Oh. What are you going to do to this guy, Ivankov? Okay, is it just going to be gender transformation again yeah okay <laughs> okay the truce okay what okay Right. Is this going to work every time? Oh, Jimbei's still there, but Ace is away. Oh, no. Oh, speak to Jimbei. Speak to Jimbei. Oh, does Jimbei recognise? Yes. The straw hat, Jimbei, yep. That's right. Correct. Yes. 
Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jimbe. Yeah, okay, Ivankov recognizes Jim Bay, okay. Thank you. We're off. Could have maybe let him out. Yeah, he seems like he's on our side. Yeah, maybe we should have took him with us. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, is this going to work out? Can Luffy... Yeah, can Luffy just shoot himself up there? Oh, no, not one of these. Oh, okay. They have it booby-trapped as well. Oh, Hannibal. You're really starting to become a pain in the ass. Oh, come on. Hannibal, I really wish that Bon Clay had just beat the shit out, you know. <laughs> well, he did. He did in a sense, but like, worse. Yeah, no, we can't afford to, like, be gassed again. We must have a solution to this. Oh, yeah, if it's sleeping gas as well, that's... Hmm. Can Ivankov, can any of his powers, can he combat this? Because at this point, I don't actually know. Like, he's, like, there's so many things he can do. But I don't know. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't, oh, yeah, he's... Oh, don't tell him that, man. That's, that's devastating. That's devastating. Yes. Oh. No, oh, buddy. Oh! Oh, he's going for it. Ah, oh, he's got the sea prism. Cuffs on. Yeah, Magellan's there. Ah. Oh. I don't know if this is gonna. I said this is just desperation because of Luffy. Damn it, I want Magellan to get the shit kicked out of him as well now. Oh. Oh, these two. Oh. Just. Just go away, you two. Just go away. Right. Just. just they're not on the same level as Bon Clay, who's a legend, right? You two are just scumbag. Go. Who's that? I hope it's a big monster or something. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. The Sphinx is back. Get him. Yeah. Crushed him. <laughs> oh. Oh. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, that's such a, such a unique ability as well. That's weird. Like, so. Oh, man. What's he going to do with this? Oh, that's actually really cool. That's awesome. Okay. Really smart. That's a cool way to use that ability. In a zoomer, okay. Snip, snip through it. That. So can that be used? So it's paper. Yes. Can we use that on like the cells and stuff then? No, no. There's got to be another way out of here. Oh yeah, yeah. First, yeah. Disable the cameras. Good. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's, there's got to be something. There's got to be something. Let's crush them all. Oh, he's already on the ship. Okay. 
Okay. Dragon. Whitebeard. Somebody. Somebody's showing up, surely. Uh, yeah, Ace is thinking about. Yep. That's how he found them. Oh, I hate this Vice Admiral as well. I hate these Marines. Just every one of them just suck. Yes. Yes. He's going. There's no stopping him. Doesn't matter. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. It doesn't matter to him. He's going. Oh. Okay. Right, I like that. I like that. Yeah, well, let's get out of here first, then we can worry about that. I know that laugh. Okay. That is true. Oh, Luffy. How's Luffy going to react to see him? Yeah, Luffy. Yes, it's him. Remember those? Yeah, oh yeah. All those bad memories. That's right. Oh, man. Yeah. Yes, it has. Oh my. Okay, crocodile. I knew. We were, I knew we were going to get this interaction, right? But I didn't expect it in this way. Did not expect it in this way. Oh man, if we actually need, if we need to free this guy to get out of here, that's just like uh, we've we've already got like such a crazy ragtag group that I wasn't expecting. But pff, crocodile. If Crocodile is, well, but you think about it as well, like, he's such a powerful person to have, like, if, if, I know we can't trust him, I know we can't trust him, right, but if he's on our side, if he's using his Logia abilities to help us, because we, we cannot get past Magellan with the people we have now, you know, I, I don't know how strong Ivankov is in an actual fight, but with the rest of us, like it's just it's it's a you know it's a moot point. It's just it's not. <sighs> if if Magellan's standing in our way, we won't escape, right? We need more firepower. That's why I was thinking of the people on this level six, like the Shiryu, and the, well, obviously when Ace was there with uh, Jimbe, we need to go back and get Jimbe, free him because he'll definitely want to help. He is friends with Ace. He is opposed to the world government uh, going against Whitebeard. So, he'll help us. Uh, you know, Cro we can use Crocodile's desire to escape to our advantage. Obviously, it can't be trusted, but we can use it, right? And then, obviously, that Shiryu guy, uh, hopefully, he wants revenge against Magellan. So, get him on board as well, right? Let's form this uh, ragtag group and just get out of here. Get out of this level six first using Crocodile. And then we need to get through all the people they mentioned there to get free. Oh, man. This is it now. So now it's <laughs> like Ace being taken on that ship. Now it's not a, we need to get down the bottom and get Ace. Now it's, right, back up through all these floors. Uh, get on a ship and get to Navy HQ where there's about to be a big war between Whitebeard and the world government because of Ace. Surely Dragon's showing up as well. You'd think, you'd think that we're going to get an appearance from Dragon, right? And I like that there. I like the, you know, Ivankov seeing Dragon and Luffy there. That was great. I like that. Obviously, we don't know 
Like, we haven't seen anybody in the series so far that knows Dragon, like, personally. Except, obviously, like, Gap. But, like, I mean, like, the the people have always spoke about him like this, like, mysterious revolutionary. Whereas, like, Ivankov is, you know, friends with, actual friends with Dragon and is like, their comrades, right? So, he, like, has spoke to him probably more than anybody else in the series that we've seen so far. So, it would be, it's good to get that, and then if, obviously, how does the interaction go? How does the interaction go if Dragon does show up? How does Luffy react to seeing his dad for the first time? Has Ace met him? You'd think that Ace is dead. Ace must vaguely remember him from when he was a kid. Based on the way he was talking with Gap, I think he obviously doesn't like his dad. But he must have a... Because obviously his dad must have been around for at least two years for the mother to get pregnant with Luffy. And he's probably left before Luffy was born. Because Luffy just doesn't know him, never met him. So it's probably been like, so, what age was Luffy when he started the series? 17, I believe, when he first left the village at the start of the series, like 17? I can't remember. I can't remember the, the specific ages because I think he's like, Ace is like two years older or three years older. But don't quote me on that one. Um, but yeah, so. Like, you'd think Dragon is, you know, they're mentioning him so much more now as compared to, like, the little sprinkles we'd get at the start of the series. So I think, like, he showed up at Logtown. He showed up at Logtown. Oh, my God. Is that what's going to happen? Are we going to get that again? Like, when uh, Luffy's about to be executed. Luffy's about to be executed. The weather changes. The lightning bolt strikes. Are we going to get the exact same on the execution platform? Are you going to save Ace in the same way? That could happen. That could happen. I might lock that in for prediction. Um, but yeah, so that this is where we are. It's just chaos, right? So we're not. We're still chasing Ace. We're still chasing Ace, but into a much more crazy environment you know it's the fact that when they showed that there i'm like oh yeah that's right you're going to have all the admirals there all the warlords there and then we're finally going to see whitebeard and his crew but how's it going to play out you know how is it going to play out how is luffy going to get there oh obviously in fact i think it might be actually quite easy to get there because of the the triangle thing, you know, with the gates of justice. So it's, you know, it's like Impel Down, Ennis Lobby and Marine HQ. So if we can get a Navy ship, then we should be able to go on that to get to Navy HQ, right? Yeah, I think that would kind of work out for us, but there's, uh, there's loads of factors that could come into play, right? Between here and there. So let's just focus on what we need to focus on right now. We're in level six. We're about to talk to this schemer, Crocodile. <laughs> see what he's got to say. And then get out of here, right? So let's get into the next one. See what see what Crocodile has to say for himself, right? Let's do this. One Piece episode 443. Let's go. Okay. Whitebeard in the Navy are gonna... Oh yeah, he was talking about Whitebeard to Ace. Right, so he actually wants to take down Whitebeard. <sighs> Luffy. Oh, look at that. I, oh, that big evil grin again, man. Oh, I've missed him. He's, he's still my favourite villain in One Piece. Yeah, uh, oh god. Oh man, it's good. It's good to have him back. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay, Ivankov's on board. 
Yeah. Let's look at this rationally here. Yeah, we don't have much of a choice. That's true. Croco boy. <laughs> oh, I remember when he was just a rookie. Oh, rookie crocodile. Bring him under control. What? Well, yeah, I said that. You can't. One of his weaknesses? What? Will your past here? The crocodile used to be a woman? Is that was Did Ivankov turn crocodile into a man? Oh, okay, okay, that, is that what, is that what they were talking about there? Yes, yes, free him. Free him, Luffy. Yes. This is someone we do want on board. Yes. I mean, this guy's a warlord as well. We'll get him with us. Come on. Yeah. First son of the sea. Yes, hopefully we get the backstory, but let's not focus on that now. Let's get this guy with us. Yes. No, no, no. We need him. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's follow the group. Where's this Shiryu guy? No, we don't want these scrubs. Yeah, death wink them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Jimby's massive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luffy never realises people. Like, you should learn these warlords, Luffy. He was the same with Hancock. Oh, yeah, this guy's... No. No. Crocodile. Yeah. Just stop being a contrarian. Just help us get out of here. This, he's going to cause trouble. Your secret. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, I, think he, I think Crocodile may have been a woman, guys. I think if Ankov may have turned Crocodile into a guy in the past and now he's holding over his head here. <laughs> I think they stayed here after making that hole. Oh, who's this? Who is this? Oh, sure you. Oh, so they didn't take him. So they let this guy, they put this guy in prison and let him keep his, like, head jailer uniform? Why? <laughs> oh, here we go. Inject it into your cro- Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You have captured, you'll be tortured to death. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good strategy. Just keep freeing people, you know, they'll be too preoccupied with if the more people are there. Yes. Let's do it. So Boggy might have had like the right idea then when he was freeing all the people on the first couple of floors. Yeah, Luffy's off. Yeah. <laughs> you need to keep up with Luffy. You can't lose, you can't keep take your eyes off him for a second. He's out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bond Clay. Like, this, this guy with, like, extra energy is just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Oh man, Ace. Why is it went dark? Oh, because of the. Oh, okay. The gates of justice. Right. Okay. So we need to get through this gate of justice, get to Marine HQ. Oh man. I really want Whitebeard the Dragon to show up like on the way there, maybe? Okay, here we go. Here's the, the, the heavy hitters. God, this is... I, I didn't expect this outcome here. This is awesome, but at the same time, like, just... Let's do this. Come on. Yeah. We need to get moving. Yes. Oh! Oh my god, okay, we're getting crocodiles through exploration. Come on. Turn the sand and control it, yes. His right hand, he can suck up the moisture. Yeah, we saw him do that to Luffy. Yes, I remember that. Oh man, these poor, <laughs> these poor guards, man. Oh. Yeah. This, yeah. It, it's not, it's not Buggy and Mr. Free you're dealing with anymore, guys. This is the real deal now. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Don't you have those, like, sea prism net things? Why wouldn't you use them against a Logia? That, this is just stupidity. Use the prism... Oh, oh, crazy idea that. There you go. Goodbye. Your mistake caused this. Right? Using normal bullets against a guy who you know what his abilities are. There you go. That, that's what you should have been using. But it's too late. Oh, okay. Gosh, man, karate. We've saw that. Yeah, what's happening? What is happening? Hello? Oh. Oh. What? Okay, that... That was cool. That was a cool attack, but it took way too long, <laughs> right? That was a ridiculous amount of time for that. <laughs> you know, he seems strong, but I hope that, you know, he can utilize quicker things than that. <laughs> yeah. We don't have time here. Oh, man, seeing, seeing Luffy and Crocodile on the same side is just mind blowing. After Alabasta, I never thought this would happen. Oh, man. If Vivi could see this now, she'd be like, what? What's happening? Crocodile? What? Oh, are they freeing the prisoners as well? Yeah. Thinking of breaking out, but I'll need some assistance. Okay. Okay, right, Mr. One, I was just asking about him in the last ones, because he didn't let him out. Oh, yes. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Join the team, join the team. Okay, that's great. Mr. One is a badass, right? I really like Mr. One. Um, he's the quiet type, but he's just that. He's got that badass energy, right? And I look like one of my favourite fights. In fact, I think it maybe is my favourite fight in Alabasta was Zoro and Mr. One. That was great. Um, oh, right. Okay. Okay, so... Unexpectedly, 
unexpectedly, we have this ragtag group here. Obviously, we already had a ragtag group that was unexpected. We had, you know, Mr. Free, Bon Clay, and Boggy with Luffy. That was already like just what what is happening. But now <laughs> we have uh, Ivankov is uh, Inazuma, like two of them revolutionaries that uh, are with Dragon. Their group they formed in this prison. Bon Clay still the legend. Um, and now Jimbe and Crocodile. Would you class them both as former warlords or is Jimbe still a warlord? Hmm. I obviously Crocodile was a former warlord. Is Jimbe does he still hold the title? I know that Sengoku basically said that he like he's, they put him in there to kind of you know he was hoping he would come to uh like he said like a, in prison to you know change his mind kind of thing. So I think they were trying to you know punish him a little bit so that he would decide to go against Whitebeard. Obviously that hasn't worked, right? That hasn't worked, and now he's with Luffy to get his back, right? So that's awesome. Obviously, Crocodile is with us for different reasons. He doesn't like Whitebeard and wants to wants to beat him. But, like, this, this thing that Ivankov's got on him, that's suspicious, right? I think that Crocodile might have been a woman and Ivankov has changed, changed him into a man. In the past, because he's very, he's very, it very much seemed like he's blackmailing him with this information. You know, like he was starting to get out of line, and Van Cove's like, "Your secret past, remember?" And he just like Crocodile just zipped it. That's that's very strange, right? I was not expecting that. If, if that is Crocodile's past, like I was not expecting that, right? But he knew it. He knew right away. As soon as they saw him, he was like, Ivankov? Like, so, they, ho they have a history, okay? They definitely have a history. I'm calling it right now, right? I've, I've got two predictions uh, from these episodes, right? First one is that, like, Crocodile used to be a woman and Ivankov has changed him into a man. That's this thing that he's holding over his head, right? Second one we're going to get a similar scene to Logtown where Dragon's going to show up uh, you know, using the elements uh, to save Ace. And we're going to get the, the, the same reaction because Smoker will be there. So we'll get the same reaction from Smoker to be like, oh, no, not this again, right? That's it right there. That is... The predictions, right? Um, we'll see how they play out. We'll see how they go. Obviously, spo spoilers in the comments, please, guys. Like, don't don't tell me if I'm right. You know, just let me let me get to it. Let me get to it. Um, but yeah, God, that's just it's chaos. It's chaos, guys. Like what? So. The plan is, as it stands, right, we need to get get up to the top level, get on a marine ship and get through the gates of justice to get to uh, Marine HQ, right? That's where we are. But we're going to basically, from level four, sorry, level five, from level five upwards, we're going to free as much prisoners as we can so that it's a distraction which makes it easier for us to get out there with our group, you know? Because if all these escaped prisoners are running around causing mayhem and distracting all the guards and everything, then we can, you know, there's a, more of a chance that we can escape rather than if it was just this group and they could just focus their attention on us. That's, that's clever, you know? Obviously, Buggy had a similar idea up on level like one and two when he was letting everybody out, but they were too scared of the... Uh, the demonic beasts, they all went back into their cells. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is the plan, right? That is the plan. I'm guessing we're going to bump into a buggy and Mr. Free on the way up, you know. Uh, so they, they might look into our escape plan as well and get out of there. Not that they deserve it, 
Not that they deserve it. They've been running around like headless chickens, trying to be selfish, and they've just been getting done in every flow they're in. They should have stuck with Luffy and Bond Clay, right? Uh, but, pff, God, man, that, that, that scene as well with, like, Ace, you know, tied to the chair on the ship and, like, looking up at those gates of justice opening. It's that kind of feeling of despair. So it's the same kind of vibes we got with um, Eddie's Lobby. Remember when they were going to take Robin through the gates of justice? And when you started to see those gates opening at Eddie's Lobby, like you saw them all, that was like the moment that was kind of sunk in where they all went, oh crap, right, this is it, it's real now, we need to go. Uh, and obviously like Robin like trying to hang on to the, the, the stone steps and stuff, that was, that was great. But, oh man, oh, here we go. And it was that, it was that feeling, it was like Ace, like, it's down, as soon as he heard from Magellan that Luffy was on level six, that desperation kicked in. He's like, not for himself, for his brother. He's like, oh no, like he definitely, like he realised that what Hancock said to him was 100% true. He's like, oh no, like I can't, like I can't leave my brother in this place, like, and that shows you the bond between them. That shows you the bond between Luffy and Ace is the fact that, obviously, how much Luffy's doing for Ace in that aspect, but on Ace's side where he isn't concerned about being taken to be executed right now, his concern is his brother. My brother's here, I can't, I can't leave him here. That's what, he's not trying to break out for the sake of breaking out, he's trying to break out to go back further down to level six to get his brother back. Love it. Love it. I love this. I love how close they are, right? And, oh, let's, let's just see how it plays out. Let's just see how it plays out. There's, there was loads of kind of little things in this episode to think about, right? Um, I, I, I thought that we were going to use Shiryu to our advantage, but it looks like he's still... Uh, the way he spoke to the guards was if, like, I listen, if Magellan, tell Magellan that I'm here if he needs help. That's a problem. Right? That's unexpected. I thought it was going to go the other way. So, is, he go is Magellan going to do that? Because we have, it's not just Luffy anymore. We've got two warlords. Uh, well, maybe former. But we've got two warlords here now. And, like, is Magellan going to be able to handle that by himself? They're freeing all these prisoners on all these floors. Maybe he's going to have to get Shiryu to back him up, right? Which is interesting, because I would very much like to see him in action and see what he's all about. But at the same time, I don't. Because if he's, if he's not on our side, I don't want to see him in action. <laughs> the last thing we need right now is somebody that's on Magellan's level keeping us from getting out of here. We need to go. We need to go, go, go. Ah, oh, right. Good episodes, guys. Loads to think about. Loads to think for the future, for the next episodes, like how it's going to go. Uh, hopefully we get to see Whitebeard soon. Um, they keep hyping up Whitebeard. I'm very excited to see, like, his crew. Like, how... Because we've only got to see like little glimpses of his crew from like his interaction with Shanks and stuff. But I'd like to see the crew. I really want an Ace flashback. I would really love to see Ace, like how he, I know we saw a little bit of how like Whitebeard invited him. But I'd love to see how he joined the crew, how he is, like how his crew is with him. Like so, some memories of him with like the Whitebeard Pirates. And, like, his past with Jimby that they were talking about. I'd like to see that stuff. Um, hopefully we get that. But, yeah. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has and comes back and watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you, guys, so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks, guys.